Greetings from the world famous gum wall here at Pike Place Market in Seattle, Washington. In this video, I'm going to give you a walking tour from here to the waterfront. And today I am accompanied by family. We are all waiting for coffee right now. And coffee, of course, is Ghost Alley Espresso. That's where we're getting coffee from. Anyway, let's get some coffee and walk down to the waterfront. All right, we have our coffee. Which one's mine, Vic? This one? Thank you. Thank you. 12 ounce Americano. We're going to begin this walk uh, after this cup of coffee or these coffees. And I'm going to ask these folks what they think about the coffee because um, for many of them, this is their first time drinking coffee at Ghost Alley Espresso. Vic, oh, you just took a sip. What do you think? What do you think of the coffee? Good? It's good? Okay. Being honest, right? How about you, La? What do you think? Wait, are you a, are you even a coffee drinker? <laughs> you are. No, so side of that. You like it? <laughs> yeah, I uh, I drink I drink coffee here quite a bit. I, I and I like that coffee. I think it's really good. Okay, I'll saw a lot saw a lot here. This is Amanda's aunt from Laos. Okay, let's see let's see what she thinks about their coffee. Reaction reaction reaction. I want her reaction. She's from Laos. Um, so, you think that? Sad, boy. What do you think? Sad. Okay, she likes it. Bao Put de. Bao Put is originally from uh, Laos. Currently residing in Fresno. But think that? Sad, boy. Bao Put. But so, uh, kin kin nai nung yik tum no. Okay, boy. All right. Okay. So now that we have our coffees. Mm. Oh, this is hot. Okay. You guys ready to walk down? Ready to walk down to the waterfront? It's too strong for her? Okay. It's too strong for her. Vic is going to complain. Uh, no, I mean, I don't know. Ah, this is so scary. This is, um, this is one of those videos, y'all, that we're just going to keep rolling. Um, what are you adding to the coffee? Do you want half a tablet or do you want cream in it? Yeah. Okay, this didn't have any cream in it. None of them do. Okay, that's fine. Just it's a latte. Yeah, can you just add cream? Yeah, sure. You want to add cream to it? Yeah, first of all, it's not sweet enough. Oh, yeah. So for, 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 uh, for Victoria and Amanda's aunt, she has to have, she has to have more sugar? All right, get that Okay. All right. Yeah. She has a different, she has a different taste palette for coffee. She has a different taste palette. She's she's accustomed to drinking sweet coffee. Men ba sao lat? Piao ba sa? Sao lat? An chao lung an kin cafe wan wan no. Men ba. Okay. She's drink. She's used to drinking really sweet coffee. Okay. I'll see. My let's do another. Long bun gubani. What do you think of it now? You think that sad sad bani? Okay. All right. She just needed a little bit of a little bit more uh, sugar. That's what they added. Okay. Uh, I'm the total opposite. I take no cream, no sugar in my coffee. I like it straight um, and uh, bitter, actually. So, yeah. Yours is almost gone. What size coffee did you get? What's <laughs> our Good Alley. Goes Alley Espresso. All right, should we walk down to the waterfront? Yes, let's do this. Let's do this, you guys. Let's go. This way, this way, this way, this way. This way. This way. This way. This way. If you go the other way, you'll be going to uh, the, uh, the opposite end of town. You'll be going to uh, Capitol Hill. <laughs> All right, as you can tell, this is one of those videos that I'm going to just keep rolling. Um, so this might feel like a hanging out with Dennis and family video. But check out how many people are here at the gum wall. The time right now, by the way, is 2.15, 2.20. Last time I checked my watch is... Uh, honey, what time is it? Can you tell me real quick? I can't check my watch because I have my... Um, 2.30 to 2.30? It's 2.24 p.m. 2.24 p.m., Labor Day 2023. Uh, the temperature is 62 degrees. And again, as you can see, there are a lot of people here. There, there are a lot of people... Uh, at Pike Place Market. We just got done. Ooh, what the? 
This guy didn't even slow down. He didn't actually hit this guy. Yeah. Where's the common courtesy? Where's etiquette these days? Huh. Uh, anyway, um, as I was saying, we just got done walking through Pike Place Market. There were there were a lot of people um, just hanging out, which is to be expected. It is a holiday, and uh, Pike Place Market is a very um, these uh, <laughs> very popular tourist destination. All right, let's walk down to the waterfront, see where we might end up. So Amanda's aunt um, there, her name is Sao Lat. Lat, Sao means aunt in Lao language. Lat is her name, so uh, Sao Lat is Auntie Lat. Yeah, she's visiting from Laos for the first time. And we thought we were, uh, <laughs> we thought we would show her around. And before coming here, we had dim sum. We had dim sum at a place called, uh, was it Ding, Ding something? I forget. In South Seattle, it used to be Joy Palace. Really good dim sum there. Um, changed it changed uh, ownership about I want to say about a year ago, maybe something like that. But it's still good dim sum. It was super busy there. We ordered many different um, things. And I think everyone quite enjoyed uh, our meal there. Anyway, uh, walking to the waterfront. The waterfront's gonna be the second thing that we show her here in Seattle. I think after the waterfront, we might go to, uh, this is a faulty lid. I feel like like coffee keeps falling on my, my uh, left index finger. This is a Seattle Selfie Museum, by the way. I've pointed this out in my other videos. This is where you can enter. We're going to go to the waterfront, which is uh, this way here. I made videos where I walked to the waterfront before, but not in a long time. Oh, there's a, somebody dropped mango. Look, there's mango on the floor. Can you see it? Uh, where'd it go? It's right there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know why you'd want to throw away mango. or maybe some, I'm sure someone inadvertently dropped it. Because, you know, mango, just like everything else nowadays, super expensive. You know, we're doing all the touristy things with Amanda's aunt and family. By the way, Amanda's uncle is also visiting, so it'd be good. This is actually his, his first time uh, visiting Seattle as well. Uh, he too is from Laos, although he's been here for a while. Currently, he resides in Fresno, uh, which is very different from Seattle. So we thought it'd be good for... We're going to check out Seattle. All right. Mm. So they, they sell stuff here. Um, this is a new addition. I didn't see them sell stuff here the last time I was here, which was many months ago. But now they're selling stuff here. I saw that they're selling stuff. By stuff, I mean food, snacks, you know, drinks. Um, once you cross the street, you'll see that there's stuff that people are selling. But um, yeah, if you want a snack or something, you can buy it there. Whew. Yeah, this lid on this coffee is not not really uh, being friendly right now. All right, this is the newer walkway that we're on. It takes you to the waterfront. As you can see, there's lots and lots of uh, construction and development happening. And once, once construction and development's complete here, it's going to look very nice. To me, it looks nice now, but you know what I mean. Just looking to the north there. And, uh, oh, they're selling stuff on this side of this uh, street as well now. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I'll stop complaining about this lid on this coffee. Yeah. Mm. Honey, honey, can you do me a favor? Push down on the lid for me. It's um it's spilling coffee all over my left hand. Push it down hard. Yeah, I'm gonna help. 
waiting for the light to turn. Um, and uh, we'll cross. This is one of those videos that I just will keep rolling. All right. To the waterfront we go. To the Great Wheel we go. So the Great Wheel, I would say, a very touristy thing to do. If you come to Seattle, you should definitely check out the Great Wheel. Perhaps during um, the latter uh, part of the afternoon, maybe even like around sunset time might be the best time to check it out. It's a great way to see the city. Great way to see the city. Space Needle is another option. And I think we're going to go there next. Space Needle is over there. So, throw guys right here. Um, I think that's good with the lid, honey. Thank you. All right. So, uh, if you want to see the aquarium, we'll go that way. But let's go here first. We'll walk back that way. So, let's go here. Let's go to the... Let's go ahead and go to the Great Wheel. And walk through the uh, Miner's Landing. All right, kids. Follow the tour guide. Okay. I'm officially a tour guide for the fan band now. <laughs> And to the Great Wheel we go. I think I was a tour guide the whole time, except that I was leading from behind. <laughs> so this is coming uh, right along. This had been compromised, the pier here. And uh, they're rebuilding it. Looking real nice. All right. Mm. I kind of like this weather. I, I really do for walking. This is ideal. This is ideal like t-shirt, like, you know, t-shirt weather for, for walking. Uh, for standing still, if you're just chilling outside, I don't know why you would stand outside and chill for um, a prolonged period of time. But hey, you know, people do what they do in life. I think, whoa, they're playing, um, just playing Alice in Chains, I think. Oh, awesome. I think that um, I think it might get a little chilly, especially by the water. But certainly, if you're you know you're walking, you're keeping it moving. 60, uh, 62, 63 degrees with overcast. This is amazing. And how Seattle is this? Alice in Chains uh, playing in the background. Got the Great Wheel there development, Pike Place Market in the distance, buildings, Pacific Northwesterners and tourists alike everywhere. Yeah, I feel like I am in Seattle because I am. All right, they're taking photos, of course. I'm going to see if we might just end this video at the Great Wheel. I think we might. Um, or else, okay, let me get in the photo with them. <laughs> How hilarious is this? <laughs> All right. We did it. Yeah, we might just end it at the, at the, at the Great Wheel. I uh, was thinking we might actually go inside Miner's Landing. But it's already 13 minutes. Um, oh, they're taking more photos. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think it might turn out to be too long of a walking tour video. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it at the Great Wheel. And you know what I'll do? I might start another video. This could be a, uh, a two-parter, right? You know, where we end the video here at the Great Wheel. And then perhaps, just perhaps, we can begin another video where we begin the tour here at the northern entrance of Miner's Landing, go through Miner's Landing, and make our way back to our car which is parked at the uh, north entrance of Pike Place Market. That's where we began our walk today. So anyway, here we are, the Great Wheel. And we'll let the fan bound take photos and uh, they'll eventually make it to where I'm standing here. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off from the Great Wheel, which is on the top, top, what is it, 10, 20, 100, <laughs> list of 100 things to do in Seattle, Washington. Signing off. Take care. I will see you in the next video. Let me throw up my peace sign. Peace.